Yes, it's the ramble. Oh boy, I screwing up tonight. Thing wasn't working right. The people who are watching the video are only going to hear the theme song, not the not the great Gabnet uh, uh, logo th- music and stuff like that. But what the hell? Uh, hello, everybody. How are you? It's Alex. It's the ramble. Later tonight, uh, one of our uh, or all of our citizen panelists who call tonight will be uh, have a chance to win two million dollars if I win the lottery. So we'll get to that a little bit later. But right now, we got to talk to our old friend. I would like to say that Larry Bubbles Brown is a comedian of great renown. I don't think I can, but he certainly no. is one of the best comedians I've ever met up with in my life. <laughs> and you've, you actually, you've, you've eluded success almost on purpose. Am I right? Yeah, well, that was the idea, yeah, because I didn't want to work too hard. <laughs> but I'll tell you something. You're so goddamn good, it's a shame. Uh, you don't want to get famous, then you got, uh, then you got to, then you become like a one-man corporation, you're working all the time, and I, I never envied people like Rob Williams, and they were just, God, they're working like 16 hours a day. I got into stand-up to avoid day jobs. And yeah, yeah. So if I could just get, if I could just make enough out of stand-up to make a living, that was fine with me. So I think I. And the, and you pretty much are making a living out of it, right? Yeah, even even at this advanced age, I am, of course. So I don't know how long that can last. But because you're working on uh, concerts with the uh, other people who are working at this yeah, advanced stage. Yeah, people the. Keep Larry Brown from committing suicide tour. They take me along. So. Yeah, well, you you work with Dana Carvey. You open for Dana a lot. Dana Carvey, though, he's not working as much as he used to. And a newer guy, Felipe Esparza. And, yeah, uh, but 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 Dana, you know, when I first put Dana on one of my shows, Dana was this young, cute kid, literally. And uh, part of his charm as a comedian was the fact that this was this cute kid who came out on stage and did very edgy comedy. Mm-hmm. And that, so y- 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 there's the image of cute kid, and then you're listening to his comedy, which is edgy, and am I right? Yeah, yeah. And he still kind of has that cute look to him, the impish look to him. But as he got older, you know, I mean, think about it. How old is, how old is Dana Carvey now? Dana was born in 55, so he's 63. Wow. 63. Of course, he's going to look better five days dead than you and I do right now. You know. Yeah, well, when he was, when he was in his 20s, he looked like he was 12. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he looked like, well, he used to have a joke or something about people expect me to show up with like a lunch pail or something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or that I look like the guy. I look like. I think he said. I, I used to. I used to think he said that uh, he looked like the kid in the, uh, in the tire ads. You know, it was time to retire. You remember that? And there mm-hmm. was a kid with a with a candle. <laughs> well, the great thing about working with someone like him, where you go to these gigs, he's got he's got so many great stories. Like he was. Uh, when he was in the, recovering from his heart surgery, it's. Cedar Sinai, uh, Frank Sinatra died in the room next to him. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I heard a he heard a big commotion and people running down there, and Frank was there, and it just had croaked. So. Uh, oh wow, wow, that's. So he tells me all these we all these people we know that he said you got to write a book about this. He's got like a hundred stories like this. <laughs> yeah, but being in the room next to Frank Sinatra dying, how historic is that? Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? And nobody cares about your heart, your fucking heart, and whether you're coming back. Okay. <laughs> what was wrong with his heart? Do you know? You remember? He's got the. He's like the healthiest guy I know, but he's got this. He had this genetic flaw that created uh, very high levels of cholesterol. So his arteries got a little clogged up, and he went in. To, uh, went in for open heart surgery. He got his arteries cleaned out and. It was in 98 at Marin General, which yeah. you're familiar with, probably. Yeah, right. 
and got a bad surgeon. The surgeon the surgeon repaired the artery that was good and left the bad one in there. Oh, boy. So he had to go back to Cedars to have it redone. And that's when the and then he got a uh, he got a multi million dollar settlement in a lawsuit which he gave all to charity. Wow, you know uh, you could have uh, yeah. given to me and you, but uh, thousand uh, how many how many dollar settlement? I heard it was seven or eight mil. Really, and he gave it all to charity. Yeah. Wow, you went through that misery. You should keep it all and say this is he should have, yeah. this is why I sued in the first place. Because, you know, I mean, uh, that health problem kind of kept him out of the business for a while. Long enough that people kind of forgot him. You know, he yeah. stopped being a commodity. So really, a $7 million judgment compared to what his potential earnings were was minor. You know, he should have mm -hmm. taken it. But that was very nice of him. It was, yeah. Well, he's the, the nicest guy I think I know. So. Yeah, he's a sweet guy. Um, yeah. But you say he's not working as much anymore? He's slowed down. His kids are actually getting into comedy now, so he's helping them. Uh, he moved back to L.A. to help. He took them down there, and they're, they're doing pretty good. Yeah, I remember I, I have, uh, they were running on Hulu. They were running his old series from ABC, the one that got canceled after eight episodes. Which was now, now has <laughs> Like this Hall of Fame cast and writers that were well, on that show. Well, I mean, you, you had people like um, uh, Stephen Colbert. And, Steve Carell. And, and Steve Carell. Uh, Louis C.K. Yep. He was one of the writers as well. Mm -hmm. um, who else was on that show? There were a ton of people. But it was, it was a very edgy show. What they did is they got this kid from Saturday Night Live who we thought were, they thought, they bought the impish thing, and he went in there, and uh, I can't remember who his partner was in creating that show, but he, I think it was, was it Judd Apatow? I'm trying to think. But anyway, he um, uh, went in, and they, they convinced him that he should make this thing really edgy. And so you go and watch these things, and you wonder how they ever got on the air in the first place. Yeah, this is this is prime time TV. It was very no, I mean, dark. <laughs> today, today it would probably be okay, but back yeah. then, I remember every week he would have a different sponsor. It was called like the Dana Carvey Mountain Dew Show, or the Dana mm -hmm. Carvey something else show, and they would then do a, a, their own commercial for the for the product. And with Mountain Dew, they're sitting there in a lunch, you know, in a break room. And uh, Dana is sitting there with a can of Mountain Dew, and he pours it into a glass, and he says, what does that look like? And the guy says, <laughs> and the guy says happy refreshment? And he says, no, 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 no. What does that really look like? <laughs> and the whole thing was a guy making guesses and him, no, that isn't it either. What does that look like? You know, and of course it looks like piss. <laughs> so that lost them uh, Mountain Dew. Uh, and so that, uh, How many episodes did it get out of that? I think eight episodes. And, and it, I think they released them last year. Yeah, they released them on Hulu. Uh, and uh, maybe they may release them on tape as well. They're classics. They're just classics. And ABC went crazy. This is what was not what they signed up for. They signed up for the cute little Dana Carvey who does the church lady. Right, you right. Know? <laughs> they didn't sign up for Dana Carvey who's looking at their sponsor's product and saying it looks like piss. Yeah, so uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I always had great respect for Dana on that one, you know? Yeah, such a great guy. Yeah, but then he had the heart thing, and that put him out of the business for a while. I mean, some people were saying he was dying, he was in bad health, you know. Those kind of things are never good for their career killer, you know. Any, in showbiz, the last thing you can do is say you're ill because... <laughs> well, uh, or be uninsurable. That's that. Yeah. Uh, that's the big line. You're uninsurable, uh, and uh, I think that you know that that hurt his career a great deal. Uh, 
And I think he thinks so too, you know. But to be, to, to go through all of that and forget the $7 million, die, uh, recovering in the room next to where Frank Sinatra is dying. <laughs> That's a great story, isn't it? <laughs> is to me, is to me the best part of anything, <laughs> you know. I would have given a heart condition just to have that happen to me. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, so not, that's, uh, but he's in good health. Um, he is like, uh, he told, Dana's kind of shy. He never really, he actually abhorred being famous, I think. So he's, he's always very nice to people, but if he can avoid being recognized, he'll go out of his way to do that, you know. Yeah, some people don't mind being recognized. They, they, you know, they're very good about it. They don't. Yeah, some people, some people actually like it. I think it would be a kind of a pain if you couldn't go out in public without being I, having people well, run up to you. I had it happen to me in San Francisco, uh, where I was oh, quite sure. where I was quite recognizable because I was also doing TV. And you know, some people are very respectful. Hi, Alex. Just want to say I like your show. Goodbye. You know, very nice. And yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. But then you'll get then some, the other uh, ones who want to engage you in a long time friendship. You know. Yeah, and they, <laughs> or they seem like they're a little mentally ill, and you don't know they're going to be violent. Or, well, I'll tell you what happened to me once. Uh, I used to do a thing in the morning on my show called the obituaries, as you know. Oh, that was, that was my favorite segment, where I used to talk about people who died. Uh, and um, and you had the organ music in the background. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Eventually, we'll all wind up where these people have wound up, dead. You know, it was very upbeat. You know, but I always thought it was interesting to talk about obituaries and about the people who'd gone because at least it will end your argument about is he still alive? You know, I mean, mm -hmm. just listen to my segment every day and you'll know who's alive or dead. But anyway, I did that for a while, and what I did is I also mentioned some ancillary people, you know, people who were just in the obituaries who got those little items, and I would just mention their names too. <clears throat> now we're at a, at a, 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 a I think it was a, like an, a, a Live 105 appreciation party, okay? And uh, I'm standing there, and this woman comes up to me, and she's like red in the face and she's saying you made fun of my father's death Jeez. and she's like and i hate you for it and i'm looking around i've in fact in those days i had a bodyguard i'm looking for my bodyguard he's nowhere to be found good bodyguard <laughs> And I'm, I'm darting my head around looking to see if anybody's noticing that this woman is menacing me, literally menacing me. I mean, I'm afraid she's going to pull out a knife and, and, and stab me, you know. And I finally get rid of her. And I walk over to my boss. I think it was, maybe it was Ed Cramp at the time. And I said, did you see what just happened? Why didn't you guys come over and help me? And they said, well, we were sitting over here saying how much it looked like she loved you. <laughs> They were standing back watching this going on thinking she was being flattering to me when all along she was threatening my fucking life. Jesus. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, being recognized does have its have its faults, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, but, um, uh, you know, on the other hand, uh, most, peop most people are kind of respectful. John Lennon... Uh, told me once, he said, you know, he said, the thing I love best, the reason we live in New York and the thing that's best about New York is I can walk down the streets. People will notice me. You know, I can notice eyes looking, you know. He said, but they don't come over. And when they do, they're very respectful about it. He said, New York isn't impressed by celebrities like other cities mm -hmm. would be. He said, and so they're very respectful. So I feel I can walk down the street in New York City I can go out to Central Park, and, and I'm not going to really be bothered. And that's what he liked about New York City. So, it, And there was one of the most famous faces in the whole world, okay? Uh, he couldn't even wear a beard and be not recognized because at one point he had a beard, so he'd be recognized, you know? Uh, and uh, 
but you know, and also you create, you can create a mask of invisibility. In other words, you can learn how not to stand out in a crowd. Uh, years ago, when uh, Abby Hoffman came out of, uh, he didn't come out of hiding. Actually, he went, you know, he went on the lam from the law, and uh, he moved to upstate New York. And uh, one day I met up with him again, and I became kind of a fugitive's friend, and my house became a safe house for Abby in New York City. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He would come and stay at the house, and it was, I used it as a, he used it as a safe house. And um, he said to me, he said, I said, you know, when, I, when you first looked in my face, because it was, was at a gathering, and he came over and says, you know who I am, don't you? And I looked at him, and I didn't know. And then he said, it's Abby. And then I looked at him, of course it's Abby. But what he said was he learned the ability to be invisible. In other words, here was a guy who always was the loudest guy in the room. This was always the guy who attracted the most attention. He said, you suddenly have to realize when the law is chasing you how to not be that person, how to completely blend into a room. And uh, he said, I learned that ability. And that's what you saw there that day. You didn't notice who I was because my demeanor wasn't the demeanor you were used to. Hmm. Um, and uh, so uh, there is an ability to kind of be somewhat invisible. Um, you know. Yeah, I know. Robin would just, Robin would be nice to people, but Robin would always keep moving very quickly so people couldn't glom on to him. That was a good, uh, just, he said, just keep well, moving. Well, no, that's what you do. Keep moving. Yeah. Uh, if, if you notice that somebody recognizes you, you just wave and you keep going, you know. Um, on the other hand, you don't want to be, you don't want to be rude to them either because after all, aren't they the reason you're popular? Right. You know, so you, you don't want to piss off the boss, right? They're your boss. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a very strange thing. Uh, I, I, but I think some people have gotten into movies, and I've heard, was it Carrie Snodgrass or somebody, and just the, they became famous overnight and just freaked the hell out of them. Well, yeah. Uh, you know what does that the most for you? Not movies, but television. Uh, you go on television, you suddenly are on a popular show that comes out of nowhere, and all of a sudden you're recognized like you've never been recognized before. Mm -hmm. And if you're a kid, if you're young, it's even worse because you've never had any kind of recognition at all. So a hit TV series, and then the minute the t hit TV series is canceled, uh, people don't even notice you on the street anymore. It's like you disappear. I mean, how many yeah. people who were like on a hit sitcom just disappeared? You know, never heard of them again. Um, McLean Stevenson. <laughs> Hello, <example>. Larry. <laughs> no, what kind? Uh, McLean Stevenson was on MASH, which was one of the biggest hit shows in television. He played the head colonel or whatever. Uh, and then he quit the show because he figured he could have a bigger career if he capitalized on that and sure enough NBC hired him to do a show called Hello Larry and that lasted what three episodes something like that about as long as the Dana Carvey show <laughs> yeah yeah no less than the Dana Carvey show and <laughs> Hello Larry. and Hello Larry is known as one of the biggest failures in the history of television and you never heard of McLean Stevenson again really did you no, I think the uh, last I saw him, he was on the, the match game. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, the last time you really heard of him big was when he died. Oh, did you hear McLean Stevenson died? Oh, okay, McLean Stevenson died. And then everybody would make a Hello Larry joke. Um, <laughs> he was actually a very funny guy. Yeah, what, what, uh, I, know, I know the answer to this question. Um, what was the shortest lived show on television? Uh, turn on. You got it. That was it. Turn on 19, was 1970 or 1670. Well, think. it was George Slaughter, and he was he had to laugh in on the air on NBC, which was a big success. So ABC right. staked him to a show he called Turn On, and uh, my friend Chuck McCann was on Turn On. 
<laughs> and uh, he, he loved to regale me with the story about how he went home uh, the night that the show aired and we, they watched it air and they, he was very happy with it, you know. The next day he goes into the offices here in New York where they were doing Turn On, or maybe it was in L.A., I can't remember. Walks into the offices, he said, you could have seen tumbleweed going through that studio. He said, "Wasn't uh, wasn't it canceled like it, in time zones before it even got out?" The it, 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 it was canceled, I think, before it was over. Before it yeah. was over, yeah. So, now, can, is there any way we could get a hold of a copy of that? Turn on. I don't know. Maybe if you go on, I go online and see if there's a copy of it anywhere there. But I just heard about it. I'd love to see it. Yeah, but it was it, it was the biggest failure. Uh, there were other shows that were canceled very fast, but not that fast. However, who's our friend up in Sacramento, the comedian? Um, Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher. There. Glad you remembered the name. I wouldn't have. Jack Gallagher. Nicest guy in the world, I might add, in case anybody wants to know who Jack Gallagher is. And one of the funniest people I know. Yeah, he had a set. Uh, you were the host on Comedy Tonight where he... I thought that was one of the strongest sets I'd ever seen on TV. Yeah, very funny guy. Very funny guy. So yeah. anyway, nothing happens with Jack Gallagher, and all of a sudden, he gets a TV series. Uh, and uh, he they do the pilot for it, and it gets picked up by ABC, who the day that the, the week that ABC was premiering the show, uh, I think it was going to do it over two nights, you know, two episodes over two nights. They took out a two-page ad in TV Guide. Now, how often did you ever see a two-page ad? And uh, Jack Gallagher in, I don't know what the name of the show was. It might have been called Gallagher. But be sure to catch it Sunday night on ABC. And it's big ads. And they were like promoting it like crazy on the network. And they were buying time on other networks. I mean, and I went to myself, good for Jack. I couldn't be happier. This guy mm -hmm. really has it made. They canceled the show before it was aired. <laughs> oh, it never hit the air? <laughs> never hit the air. I often said to Jack, how big was the gun they had to take out of your mouth? <laughs> He said, I guess that's television. He said, I just had to accept it, you know. And he went back to Sacramento and did some local TV up there, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, literally the show was canceled before it ever made it to air. Now, how do you do that? How do you not say, let's put it on once and see if anybody likes it? Let's see if it gets any <laughs> ratings. I, I didn't know that. Oh, God. <laughs> I think what he told me was that between the time that they did the show and that all the advertising was placed and everything, they changed the person who was the head of late night programming at ABC. And he didn't like it. And she, true. I think it was a she, didn't like mm -hmm. it. And so said, don't run it. The, the wow. night canceled before it even went on the air but <laughs> but after it had all the publicity that it was going to air and i'm thinking about all the people who tuned to eight o'clock on abc that night because they saw it in tv guide and, and got some nitwit uh you know comedy that uh, they weren't expecting this isn't gallagher you know this is, uh. <laughs> and i was so delighted for him because you know him he's the nicest guy in the world yeah, and, and yeah. Oh, you never begrudge a nice guy success. You're very happy for him. And I was mm -hmm. delighted for him. And then all of a sudden this happens. I mean, not canceled after the show aired, canceled before it aired. Eh, television, ain't it wonderful? Yeah. Well, so he beats Turn On. <laughs> no, he be literally beats Turn On. Yeah, turn on at least got on once, and you're right. They may have they may have stopped, got on at least it got on half the country. They may have stopped showing it on other networks on on other in other time zones. But turn that's in, what I think happened. Yeah, uh, tune in or turn in, turn, turn on, uh, yeah. got it on. It got on at least in the east on the east coast. I'm gonna look and see if there's a copy of it around. 
Uh, I want to see it, yeah. And I, I've actually, I actually met George Schlatter. He was a very cool guy. He had, uh, at one time in his career, he managed Martin and Lewis, and he, he had to, he had a bunch of great stories. Yeah, he, he but you know, um, again, another one of those great TV stories that people like to tell mm -hmm. when they sit their <laughs> kids on their knee and tell them about the history of television. Anyway, Larry, or, die, or listening to Frank Sinatra die. That's another listen, great. Oh man. I, <laughs> I would love to ask Dana about that. Did he hear him die? Did he hear? Uh, no, he said he just said he knew he was in the room next to him. He, there was a big commotion one night, and all the nurses and people were running down there, and the, I guess yeah. that was it. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. Anyway, hey, we've run out of time. Another time well spent. Just flew by. You know, a lot of my life, half hours of my life are wasted. But not when I'm spending <laughs> <But> not time <laughs> this. with Larry Bubbles Brown. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Alex. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, ready to go with another show. Do da, do da. Oh, man, oh, man. Hey, tomorrow, uh, tonight is the big uh, Mega Millions um, jackpot thing, you know, here. Familiar with that, aren't you? Aren't you? Mm -hmm. Aren't you? Okay, I know. They knew that you were. Uh, and uh, 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 I have here uh, in my hot little hands. Mm. Oh, boy, I'm sniffling. Uh, let me see here. Uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, my tickets. Uh, the, actually, what happened was I bought one the other day uh, with 10 numbers on it. And then... Girlfriend bought one tonight with three tickets on it. So we have a total of 13 possibilities that we can win the, the million dollars or the trillion dollars or the billion dollars, whatever the amount is. Uh, what is it? 1.6 billion this time or something like that? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Anyway, uh, uh, so I decided, I did this the other night that if people call to be part of the citizens panel, those people who are on the citizens panel tonight, should I win, okay, should I win the big bucks, uh, or at least a, a large amount of big bucks, uh, I am willing uh, to uh, uh, do it, uh, uh, to pay each and every one of you. Last week it was a million dollars, but because there's more money at stake now, I'm going to uh, give you two million dollars each. Okay, that means if I have 10 people on the citizens panel, it's 20 million bucks out of my winnings. All right. So um, uh, I hope and, and pray that we will be uh, uh, able to give you that money, because if I can give you that money, I'm going to get a lot more. You know what I found out? By the way, our lines are open. What I found out, I looked it up. Uh, if you uh, play uh, the Mega Millions and you, and you win the billion, and then you take the, the other payout, you know, the uh, non-yearly payout, uh, uh, the truth of the matter is, folks, that that doesn't, uh, that, that doesn't pay your taxes on this. No. That, you're taking the lesser amount because you're taking a full cash payout. That's the money they have on hand as a payout for it that they pay to the, uh, the assurance companies or whatever that are going to pay it out over 30 years. So if they don't have to pay it to them, they just pay it to you in one lump sum. But that lump sum is then taxed by the government. So I, uh, I, 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 nobody's calling yet. I mean, I, and I've just been offering each one of you, what do I have to do? I'm offering each one of you $2 million dollars. What's what's with the gang out there? Come on, folks. Oh man, um, let's see here. At uh, you know Skype, we're at uh, uh, Gabnet Live. That's the number to call. Uh, and uh, I don't know why my, my Skype looks a little different tonight. It doesn't have all the other gazorchnets that it normally has. Uh, let me see here. Pum 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 pum. Recent. And then I do that. Yeah, it's all up and everything's going good, but I just got a whole bunch of uh, things here. 
uh, that uh, don't look aren't, aren't normally what's up. But here comes Jeff Stein. Jeff Stein, the first potential winner of uh, of, of two million dollars. I know I got my million dollars already because that's what I'm doing, you know, tonight. <laughs> because no, last time I did, a, a, everybody was going to get a million, but then I was going to get a lot less if I won. But now, since I'm getting more, I figure share the wealth. Now, I want to show you how selfish my wife is. She said to me, so you're going to give them each $2 million tonight? And I said, yes. And she says, that's coming out of your money. And I'm thinking to myself, has she never heard of community property? What do you mean it's coming out of my money? It's coming out of our money. But I figure it's, it's money well spent, you know. It'll make all these nights that guys like you, Jeff, have sat there listening to this drivel, make make it all all worth it, you know. So, uh, you know, tonight is uh, baseball. Is it baseball tonight? Yeah. Well, it's too bad because there are a lot of people who are not going to have a chance to win uh, uh, two million dollars. But R- Renee Collins is yet another two potential two million dollar winner tonight. Uh, hello there, Renee. Aloha. Aloha. Uh, Aloha, okay, Nui Nui. Uh, and here comes Phil Meyer, yet another potential $2 million winner. Yeah. Yeah, what? Uh, do I have audio? Yeah, but yeah. you're, 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 weird, you're square weird. tonight. You're not wide. Oh, uh, I'm on uh, a MacBook, an old MacBook Pro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, tell them what. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Got a haircut. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, did, I needed one. Look at me. <laughs> there you uh, go. Wait, wait. Oh, stop, stop. Man, I'll get the sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't go to Hawaii. The island would be wiped out by my bald pate. Yeah. I like Larry. I, I miss him. He needs to sign off every time and say, Zuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is my uh, air yes, uh, cooling is. machine? Is it's my air cooling machines making noise? Oh yeah. yeah. All right, let me fix it. Yeah. I turned mine comp- as down as it can go without being off. Yeah. So. See? Well, um, you know, I. Uh, uh, by the way, I have a. Uh, you know, I got this new uh, the new Apple Watch, and I and this you can do with your watch, uh, of course. Uh, but so any watch. Is the reason to buy the watch. Any no. <laughs> And oh, watch. Wait a minute. Let me finish. I, I got. Let me I got this. You. Let me tell you. That's, no. Let me. T- can I tell you what I downloaded for the watch? And I think it works on any Apple Watch, whether it's a new one or an old one. It's a program called Sleep Plus Plus. And what it does you put it on? You wake up the next morning. You go to the app, and it tells you how much, how many hours of restful sleep you had. The best mm-hmm. hours of the restful sleep. How many times you woke up, how many times you uh, uh, were restless, uh, and, uh, it, it, you know, why go to some sleep clinic when you can you put that on your wrist and find out overnight if you've got sleep apnea? When, when do you charge it if you use that? Well, I, the it, charging's a whole lot faster now than it was. Yeah, though. yeah, it's yeah. really fast. Yeah. So, I mean, I yeah, might char- so it, charge it. It's almost like you take... Yeah, I might oh, charge sorry, it. Yeah. I might charge it in the morning when I first get up, and about twenty minutes later, it's all charged. Completely, uh, yeah. yeah, much faster well, than it was. Uh, you know, um, as as I told you earlier, I uh, downloaded Mojave to my uh, Mac Pro. <laughs> oh yeah, this is why we're on the. Uh, Here he he bought one of the most expensive control boards you can possibly buy for God knows what reason. It's like he's not recording bands and things like that, you know. <laughs> And uh, but it he just wants down. yeah, and it, nothing it never works with anything. Uh, well, uh, for one reason or another, this uh, Mojave and uh, the new Personas board don't seem to want to work together. So they're work. They, I, I've got people working I'm on it. I'm telling you, the best way to do it is don't do the USB input. Well, I, I I'm going to see if I can do then that. It, then it'll work because there's nothing to prevent it from working. Well, that that may be that may be the workaround. No, that isn't uh, the workaround. That is the way to do it. Oh, there yeah. it is. There's there. You have it right. Or do, I just downloaded it. Uh, you're gonna love it. It's well, great. you know, my CPAP machine. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I don't own one. Well, you know, I'm glad you don't have to have one. But uh, it tells me how many hours of sleep, whether the seal on the mask was good, uh, how many events I have per hour where I'm not breathing, uh, wow. how many times I took my mask off. And last night I got 100 points because I uh, only took my mask off twice. I only had 2.8 events per hour, and the seal was good, and I slept 7.05 hours. Yeah, well, I, so I, I, I slept eight and a half, and I yeah. had a, about eight minutes and 15, eight hours and 15 minutes of that was restful sleep. And yeah. the most, then it tells you what hours the most restful was, and then yeah. it tells you how much you were restless. And I was restless for about five minutes during the whole night. So what, what was the uh, best hour that you had? I got it. I, well, I, have to, I have it right here. Hold on a second. I'll let you know. Wait a minute. Let me hold on. Let me go to, oops, what did I just do? The, the reason I ask is I'll call your phone number at that hour. <laughs> oh, I see. So I was going to ask you, do you take any of that information? Are you giving that information to your cardiologist now? Is that uh, one of the reasons you're doing this? Well, uh, the I, I took a sleep study, and uh, my machine was very old, and I and it was very uncomfortable. So they told me uh, what new machine to get, yeah, well, I, and this, I got. This is boring. Okay, yeah. it's boring. Well, I mean, no, sleep, it's so sleep apnea is real, and the machines have gotten smaller now, right? And the mask has gotten easier because it blows air in and out, or. Water well, uh, I'm using a nose pillow, but, you know, uh, there's uh, uh, very little difference in the masks, although they fit better. Uh, but the, the machine is extremely quiet yeah. and comfortable yeah. and humidified. Okay, all right, uh, this is boring. And he this did. is really boring. Uh, it's uh, boring. Okay. Uh, it is just I, I fucking just, uh, boring. That's too bad. Just but people you know, should know it's out there. Here we go. Here we Alex, go. Yeah. Here, here we go. Here's my here's my sleep from last night. Do you want the manual or the automatic version? Because I can get it. I did both last night. But I there oh. I, there's an automatic where the minute you put your head down on the pillow, it starts registering it. Here we go. Which Total, is shorter? Huh? Uh, they're, <laughs> about, they're both about the same amount. Both about the okay. same yeah. amount. Yeah. Uh, eight twenty eight hours and twenty nine minutes of sleep. Of that, eight minutes and sixteen, eight hours and sixteen minutes were restful. That's ninety-seven percent of my sleep. Restless, eight minutes. Awake, five minutes. That's when I went to take a pee twice during the night. And the best sleep was from one thirty-one a.m. to four fifteen a.m. for two hours and forty-four minutes. That was the best sleep. Wow, that's great. And it tells you all that from the watch. Well, I wonder if that program works on the version of watch that I have. The, the, oh, probably, sake. yeah. Go to the Apple store. Sorry. I don't want the new watch. <laughs> I wouldn't spend 600 bucks on that piece of plastic if my life depended well, on it. Not, I already got ripped it's, off it's for not, $500. It's not pet plastic. It's aluminum. And, it looks like plastic. And you can buy a stainless, stainless steel. steel version if you're snotty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the now aluminum just... one it weighs less than the stainless steel one yeah. does. Wait a minute. Are you there, uh, Scott? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. We don't Scott have a, we don't have we don't we don't have any video on you. That's because uh, I'm on the phone. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, during your uh, discussion with Larry Brown, uh, you alluded to a uh, Dana Carvey uh, uh, special show that he had come out with. And it reminded me of the episode on I'm Dying Up Here with the two black comedians, mm -hmm. uh, the heavy set guy and the thin kid, uh, 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 do an edgy show uh, based on the notes that the kid had in the box. And uh, it was very similar to Dana Carvey. Is that, uh, was that based on that Dana Carvey? I have Carvey no episode? idea. You'd have to ask the writers of that show. But it was so it was so close to what you were describing with the Dana Carvey thing Not that really. they uh, thought that they were going to get one thing and then they started decided to do it in an extremely edgy manner. Well, they they they, they just expected uh, Dana to be a sweet little kid on the TV that everybody would love, and he turned out to be it turned out to be a very edgy edgy show, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, how, the, um, hey, Kevin, you're yeah. watching the game, aren't you? Yeah. I'm watching a Sharks game. I'm not watching baseball. Oh, oh I, I can see. tell you Boston 5, LA 3. Yeah. The Sharks 30, just got three goals is, in the third period. 
With You're the, kidding. Uh, two minutes to go. And they were What's behind. the score? You see, now that's Five boring. Four right now. Five <laughs> to, four. Five to, to four. a lot of people, that isn't boring, Phil. To a <laughs> majority of our audience, this is exciting. What is this, the World Series going on yet? Uh, we've got the World Series going on in Hawaii, and he's got the Sharks game going on in San Jose. Yeah, yeah. The World Series is in Hawaii? Yes, of course. I just yeah. I just don't like the Dodgers, nor I like the Boston. Oh, oh like the you're Carolina. watching it. So I can't stand the Boston Red Sox, and I like, I hate, I dislike the Dodgers less, so... I'm gonna go with the Dodgers. No, my, I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch baseball about probably the seventh game. What's gonna get okay. the biggest ratings tonight? <laughs> the World Series game or the revealing of the lottery numbers? I think the, well, lottery. the lottery number thing is Lottery's gonna be really exciting. brief. Isn't the lottery tomorrow? No, no, it's tonight. tonight. Oh, it's tonight. You oh. lose. There's another you one. Lose. There's another one tomorrow night. But yeah, oh, that's the okay. other one. That's uh, so, that's not the big one. No, that's uh, big one's tonight. Yeah, Mega Millions is tonight. Yes, uh, yes, Renee. Jeff, are you a baseball, football? Do you follow any sports? Wait a minute. Jeff's too busy watching the Sharks. Uh, he's muted. Uh, Yankees, Yankees. Oh, Yankees. Okay. Yeah, see, so you and either. you and um. And of course, Boston. If you love the Yankees, you hate Boston. There you oh, go. see, now so he's throwing for the Dodgers at the moment That's... too. <laughs> Yeah, I know how that feels. <laughs> oh, I love baseball. I just, you know, I'll watch it whenever I can, but I won't go out of my way. One of my favorite I'm, questions. I'm deep into hockey now. When I, one of the best questions I ever asked when I was on radio, that was, you know, I was all, uh, to all of you, I was on radio at one point, uh, was uh, how do you get all that ice into the rink? Yeah, it's it's hard. They gotta do it little pieces at a time, and then they yeah. glue them all together. What they do is they go down, they go down the hall to the ice machine at the hotel, liquor store, and yeah. they fill up endless buckets of those About things. And weeks then, before, yeah. Yeah. How how thick do you think that ice is? Probably not very thick. It's only uh, I think it's only a few inches thick. Maybe I think it's I think it's only an inch. Yeah, yeah I think so. It's not it's not thick at all. Yeah. What was that? That sounded like me. Yeah, it sounded like not me. No, but you didn't do anything. Because but. I say that um, for every ten thousand people in the stadium, you can drop the the temperature of the ice ten degrees. Yeah. Oh man, is it cold at a shark at a hockey game? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's chilly. Well, well, it's a great thing to go see in the middle of summer. I mean, as, as close to the heat as you can get it because it yeah, is yeah. cold inside. But they have coils under there, right? That's how they do it. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. yeah. Well, they got all kinds of technology for it. <laughs> see, I didn't Cause... like hockey before I went to my first game. <clears throat> Once I went to my first game, it was all over. Yeah. It was it's great. Have you well, been I, to I, a shark? I, I did some work on the stadium, on the arena, too. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, anyway, so that's good. Uh, I um, that's exciting. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, I like sharks, but uh, I don't like hockey. Well, listen, I'm only <laughs> going to have to give away ten million dollars here so far. Wait a minute. Have uh, you uh, taken your camera to a hockey game before, Phil? No, I've oh, never been to a hockey game. Whoa, dude! You got to go. That, that's some action there, yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to keep. Yeah, that's well, the, and it's very really fast paced. I understand that you know, the photographers have to shoot through a small hole in the glass, yeah. and uh, it just didn't appeal to me. And you got to be good at pulling it back real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Said everyone at Planned Parenthood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, is, it is a small hole, and you have to have permission to shoot there, but. It's very cool, and especially in, in uh, the San Jose uh, arena, because you're right on it. That's the problem. As you get towards the top, you can have serious height issues, because it's very slanted at the top. I mean, it's don't buy nosebleed seats at the San Jose Sharks arena. Don't uh, uh, the only way I'd go is for the photo pass, and if I got a photo pass, I'd be, I'd be right down on the glass. Yeah. 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 Okay. But uh, anyway, so um, uh, uh, so let's see here. I'm trying to wonder what my what my chances of winning are here. 
Uh, it's uh, it's 13 so you, times better than it was yesterday. Yeah, it's two <laughs> it's, snowballs it's, chance in hell. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's what? Two balls. Two snowballs chance in hell from the yeah. other night. Yeah. 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 I, I I don't know why we've gotten into this. You know. <laughs> but, why not? What would you do if you had it? Oh, if I well, had it, I'd. I, See, you, you, come Monday, there'd be no program here. I'll tell you that Tuesday, there'd be no program. <laughs> Would you abandon us? I don't know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. I don't think so. But I might take a long trip for a while. How rude. <laughs> How rude. Well, you know, but then again, I could buy a good enough computer that I could do the show from anywhere in the world. Say. And that would be your responsibility. Like to my, go all like, those like my yacht. <laughs> You'd have to learn how to sail. Uh, sail yeah, first. This, this is a minor no, I don't want to have to learn how to sail. I will hire a captain and a crew. A oh boy! You know. Yeah. No. Yes. They won. Uh, who yeah. won? The sharks won. Yep. What what are they from behind the in the third period of the last three minutes. Yeah. Three goals. Hey, uh, would you ever uh, do one of those cruises like they have on that uh, TV show I on Bravo? I knew it. 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 What? what? Uh, one of those helicopters. What, what, are you, what are you doing? What, where, where, what's happening with Renee? One of those helicopters, he oh. said. Are they she thinks the CIA is watching her. <laughs> no, it's the other helicopter. What That's other the helicopter? helicopter? By the way, in case, in case people have not listened to this show before, that is a Hawaii you're seeing there. Out, out What's it water. doing? It's it's the one with the blades that go both directions, so it can. Oh, and and it has, sounds has two of them. Yeah, oh, and it Huey? sounds different. I think it's called an osprey. Osprey. Like that. Osprey. And osprey. they're pretty cool oh, to yeah, see. The they fly yeah. around here often, but not not that often. I've okay, I've seen four and. Maybe once a year. Yeah. Well, your sky That's looks, why I got skies Sorry. look nice today. The clouds and everything are so... You want to go see the tugboat? The tugboat? There's a tugboat in the sunset soon. Yeah. Sure. Okay, I'll take you out there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a tugboat sitting out there? Oh, he's being a tugboat. He's working. Oh, oh, what's he tugging? <laughs> Oh, Tuggy. I, I, I know containers. That, I, I know that's a rude question for me to ask. <laughs> Isn't that a Brian question? Yeah, was it? Was not a gay question. <laughs> What's he okay. tugging? Yeah, uh, let me see. She's t taking her uh, her computer out to the out to the back here. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Hawaii. Uh, there uh, is that a uh, is that a satellite dish I see there? On the I deck. Looks like a table. <laughs> no, it's a satellite dish. No, it's a no, table. It's, it's a table. Blocked <laughs> over. Yeah. Blown over. Uh, uh, well, or maybe it's a table you can use as a satellite dish. That might be the good combination. That's why the CIA is out there watching her with, there we from go. helicopters. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at those skies. Mm, beautiful. We had some beautiful skies here in New York City today, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you get them up there in Connecticut too? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really nice. A lot of. Yeah, lot and of and then a little sprinkle too. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at the sun going down on the uh, on the water. Isn't and the palm trees. Oh, we needed some music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hawaii. Oh, there's the boat. Let me uh, see. Can you? Um, yeah. Can you um, uh, zoom in on it? Uh, see, I don't have been working on that, but I don't know if I can go any further. Nope. That won't work. No. I think they're moving drugs between that boat. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there's a tourist the helicopter. Yeah. But it's gone. Okay, so it's way up there. But the, if the military helicopter comes back, you'll be able to see it. Hey, we had snow on the top of the mountain. Really? This, yeah, we had it yesterday and the day before. Yeah, uh, uh, global warming. So, Jeff Stein, do you have no any snow where you live? Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. Wait a we beat you. Here, here, here. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see here. There Let's you go. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Get the music. Dance, Renee. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Do the hula. 
Put on your grass skirt. <laughs> <laughs> All of my friends from Colorado had snow. Yeah. Last week. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's not, it just says ukulele music, that's all. Well, now that Don, Don Ho is dead, can't you play his stuff? <laughs> oh, well, anyway. Oh, yeah, he couldn't come after you. Don't so, you get to see Hawaii. Very nice. Uh, let me see here. Uh, um, I wish I could find some good Hawaiian music. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Hawaiian music show? What's that? Uh, that doesn't sound like Hawaiian music. No? Oh, well, forget it. Oh, damn it, Bowie. What? I'll get my daughter to come in and play her uke. Mm. I'm being a bad doing homeowner. homework. Though. What are you doing? Well, I left Bowie tonight today because I had to get my eyes examination and came back and he was in the trash can and I just realized where the rest of it is. How do you mow the lava? <laughs> I, you know, it's a special kind of lava. With a lava mower. We use, it, it, it's Trump voter faces that we use on the blades. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we like that grounding kind of look. So, you know, there was one. No, just kidding. <laughs> so, listen, yeah. I, I want to know, uh, Renee and, <laughs> uh, and Kevin and <laughs> Scott and <laughs> Jeff, have you all sent your checks in? To finance the caravan? <laughs> because, as you know, the Democrats uh, are financing the caravan. Yeah, Alex? No, like yeah, Scott. and so is. Wait a minute, wait, Scott? You, Scott wants to talk. Yeah, I, I was down there getting them all registered to vote. <laughs> I, see. I thought they already did register at the DMV. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, you know, I, this I, is. I make sure I got the MS 13 guys. Yeah, it, yeah. It, okay. It's such a lost leader. It's such a shiny object issue. No, and and we shouldn't be involved no, in this no, but until no, they get closer. No, but the thing is, it is probably, of all the things that I've heard of the, of Trump lying about, this is the biggest lie. This, and that gets its it, way. It's just the, a big the lie. 10% uh, discount? It, the, 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 the Democrats have been financing the uh, the the caravan. Oh really? Hey, when they get up to the wall, I say they break out the fire hoses and see if they can help them swim back to Guatemala. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so very... you know, they're, they're, they're all well dressed. They all have new shoes. They're all well fed. Most of them are uh, in military age. Uh, I believe that uh, Trump is right that these guys are invading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're yeah, coming here for economic. Guy. They're coming here for economic reasons, not uh, you know because Honduras. Uh, of course, Honduras, I'm of looking course forward to going to Honduras. Uh, it's got great scuba diving. I know people that go there. Well, then why the don't you go, Phil? Because the United <laughs> States, go, uh, the United States, <laughs> uh, what do you call it, Department, State Department, has warned against Americans going to Honduras. But go if for you go, us, Phil, will you? I'll give you uh, a. Nike Trump shirt to wear down there. <laughs> there, yeah. there, is, there is a place that something uh, Sula, and uh, then there's a couple of dive. Uh, That's great. Go down and dive there, all you there. want. Dive all you want. You know. Well, you know, this has so been a very up with really because, nice air tanks down because there. the State <laughs> Department has warned you not to. So if something goes wrong, they're not going to come bail your ass out. Well, well Phil, are you still licensed? Yeah. To scuba dive? Has he been approved since by his doctor? Surgery? Uh, well, I need to go in for an examination, but this is my master's <laughs> dive card. We don't give a shit you have a master's dive card. It may be taken away from you because you're... Uh, <laughs> Did but, you just show us your C card? <laughs> I, I was uh, yeah. uh, getting my Bragging, documents. Showing uh, off. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I'm getting all my documents together for the Bahamas trip. Yeah, I couldn't. I just couldn't believe what I heard today with the assertions that the Democratic Party has been financing the caravan. I mean, that is the most absurd thing I ever heard in my life. But you know something? The Trump people are so stupid, they will believe it. 
Absolutely. You believe it. Absolutely. And, uh, (laughs) you know, I hope that they get stopped in Mexico because this is definitely an onslaught of people that are coming over here uh, and, uh, you know, they're not uh, respecting, they're not coming in the right, you know, the way our laws are set up for them. They haven't gotten here yet, so you don't know how they're coming in. Well, they're walking. That's how they're coming in. Yeah. But they will be processed. And this is my big thing. This is why I think this is a shiny object thing until they get closer. For one thing, they when they get to the border, they will be processed. How come they broke through the border? Uh, some women and children and people with passports uh, oh. uh, actually uh, were let into Mexico. But uh, uh, they, uh, they broke in through most of them, the 4,000 that were on that bridge broke through a fence, and then overtook the authorities there. Yeah, I, I saw that was a huge fight. Did you see that? Don't go over there, and then they stepped aside. It was awful. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah, it was like, you please so, go. So what really happened is they got there, and an hour after they got there, the government called and said, yeah, let them through, is what, what happened. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, I just, I just, you know, I have you seen all these ads on television now? The fear ads. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just going to bring that up. I, I didn't, I've never seen those before. Where it says, you know, just vote Republican. Have you seen those? Uh, oh. No. Not in California. Up, it was just a straight up <laughs> Republican across the whole damn screen. And don't that, vote Democrat, vote Republican. That's and it's it. like, you know, that, you know that, it's, that was it, a it's like if you vote Democrat, uh, fish are it's going rude. to jump out of the ocean and fuck with dogs. Exactly. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's it, exactly it, what the message was. Yeah, basically. I mean, it was like ridiculous. I, I've never seen those before. Yeah, it's just well, horrible. See, we, we still they're have the factor. They're being aimed at you and, and other Dems. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. No. It's uh, it's uh, like uh, Renee says. It's the uh, Russians and the Chinese and the Iranians. Yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, uh, uh, the uh, NS. What what is the name of that uh, Mexican? MS thirteen. MS thirteen and members of Al Qaeda are in that group. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's awful. Wow. A lot of them. Nasty group. The MS thirteen ones have T shirts that say MS thirteen on it. You can see them in the crowd. No, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I am done being the stand, so we're we're going inside. Okay, go inside. But that's nice. We got to see we got to see some wonderful visuals of we'll Hawaii without actually there having to go there. Are you close enough to the uh, to the breeze that the mosquitoes get shushed away? Um, for right now, that uh, so right now we've got a little bit of a breeze, but I've seen those mosquitoes land on my dog. Wow. And that's got to be a pretty fierce mosquito. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because they'll get eaten. Pardon? The dogs will eat the mosquitoes. You know, they'll bend yeah. around and whack them. There's the dog. Yeah. Hello, doggy. Hello. Hello, boy. Hello. 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 Hey, boy. Hey. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's giving me a look like, fuck you. Uh, there he is. Oh, he's a sweet looking dog. It looks like he's got a great temperament, too. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Are we done with the Rene tour? Yeah, we're <laughs> through with the Rene tour. You did some real uh, fixing up of the place, didn't you? Some. I'm not done. Still working on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having a paint hissy fit Wait. at the moment, so don't ask. What is that noise? Mm-hmm. Is that Scott? What's that? Did I is my microphone on the near the keyboard on these uh, MacBook Pros? I don't know where the microphone I, is. I have no idea. They're probably and on I, the screen. I laid, I laid a piece of paper on it, and maybe that's the noise that it made. Who knows? And that's Who knows? I didn't hear Who it. Knows? Now I started messing with your uh, uh, with your photos. My photos, yeah. yeah that's that's one of them. Uh huh. Hang on, uh, on an iPad. Where's this? Oh no! Don't do that. Sorry. Uh, so that, that, that's one of them. That's one of your that's Ibiza a, ones. That's a pretty nice uh, rendition of it, actually. Yeah. Uh, I, I try to fix the colors a little bit, 
and uh, the sky is a little bit pixelated. But uh, and then this one, uh, th this one is the. Uh, you saw that. Yeah. Uh, I can't see where I'm at. Oh, we have to drag his ass down here, huh? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so anyway, okay. this one's the one with the squares. Dude, you you crop this? Yeah. Can you send it to me uncropped? No, I no, I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't think that's cropped. I don't believe it's cropped. Really? Uh, okay. Because um, I straightened I straightened it, and uh, and what I get is the bottom shelf of the uh, of the boxes, mm -hmm. and I straightened along the uh, uh, the windowsill, mm -hmm. and then. I uh, brought up the the sky in the, in the window, yeah, uh, and you know, open that up a little bit, yeah. But I've been messing with them, you know. If I get if I get them decent, I'll uh, mat them up and send them to you. Oh, okay, yeah, that'd be very nice. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. That's very but nice. uh, I still have to mess with them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, messing with Alex's photos. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Did you, may I ask, when the photos that you, in, or the negatives that you inherited, did you send them off to a company to have them batch, batch, uh, moved oh, into digitized? the emails? Oh, you mean, yeah, my, you mean mine? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Who'd you use? Do you know? I don't know. Some guy did it oh. for us, and we're not going to use him anymore, but I know of several places that will do it and do a very nice job of it. It's, it's, okay. It's cool. a simple process because all we want are the negatives converted. Any adjustment we're going to make to the pictures, we can make here, you know. Yeah. So. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think Adorama does that stuff. And they have a site called Adorama Pix, P I X, oh, yeah. and, they're, and, they're, and they're pretty reasonable. Yeah, and I think, they, I, think I, I don't know how much we paid. Maybe a maybe a dollar a picture. I don't know. You know how many dollar. thousands of pictures do you have? Oh, several thousand. But we have the money to do it with. So you know. yeah. Yeah, that's not. Well, that's I thought you were poor older people. What did I do? Excuse me, I'm having the. No, okay, well, well, keep losing your face. Oh, uh, is that, did you share your screen? I don't. Or did somebody I, share their screen? I might have. No, no. He, it's she, me. she, she I'm just. Around. What, what are you using? An iPad there? Or what? <clears throat> yeah, it's my iPad, and I flipped the view. Yeah. There we go. That's there you go. Much better. There you okay. are. Okay. All you right. are again. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. Oh, well, might, might not be much better, but, yeah, it's a human face. Yeah. Anyway. I got the numbers. Oh, you got the numbers. Okay, hold oh, on a second. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe, yeah. maybe I have them here, too. Uh, no, I don't have them yet. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. It says, mm -hmm. today's the 23rd, right? Yeah. 5-28. Mm -hmm. 62, mm -hmm. 65, 70, hmm. and the mega number is 5. Now, now, are, are they going to wind up being in a row? Uh, they have to be in order. Is, yeah, this is in a row. They have to be in order. No, they don't, don't have to be. Oh. They don't necessarily pick them in order. This is the way they show up on the website. Oh, I see. So, in other words, I could have uh, one number is my first number, and another number is my second number, and it doesn't. Yeah, have the to... way they pop up is is randomly, but I think they put them in order, and then. So, uh, Kevin, if he wins four dollars, does he still owe us each two million? No, I know. I said, <laughs> I said, if I win, <laughs> but I don't even have that. Give me the numbers again. Five. No, wait a minute, wait, hold on a second. I just want to make sure I don't have five here somewhere. No, I have one five there. Yeah. And 28. Then, I can't 28. Let me see if I have a 28 anywhere here. Boy, this is really scarce pickings here. Yeah, go ahead. Doesn't the five and the 28 have to be on the same pick ticket? On the same line. On the same, on the line. same line. Okay, what's the next number? 62. 62. Let me see here. Do I see a 62 anywhere here? No, I got a 61. 
Yeah. Probably yeah. screwed for the rest of them. Sixty-five. Hot what? Sixty-five. Fifty-five. Six, I, sixty-five. Oh, sixty-five. Sixty-five. I have fifty-five. Does that count? Uh, no, I don't have sixty-five. Go ahead. Seventy. Seventy. Nope, not even a seventy anywhere. Mega is five. And the mega is five. I don't even have that. So if you had a huh. mega, any one of those other numbers, you'd get at least four bucks on the same line. <laughs> oh, you boy, hey. you won four bucks the other night. Yeah. Now, um, does it say? Does it say who won on the site? You know, it, no. oftentimes to give the city. No, that no, they're winning no. I don't think they'll find that out for a while. That's, yeah, that takes a little longer. I, not instantaneous, huh? No. I don't, I don't think so. I don't go in that far. I just look for the numbers. Okay, folks. Well, another one of our big lottery uh, deals here. Uh, just another, a loser. Huh? another loser. Huh? Another loser. Another loser. Yeah, gee. You know, I, well, I guess I can stop <clears throat> dreaming about what I would have done with the money. So. Uh, All right. Well, uh, so I wonder if somebody's going to win this time, or if it goes to three billion. If it goes to three billion, you're you're a get up ahead of Trump on the uh, billionaires list. No, it's not going to go to three billion. No, it'll, it'll, go to, go it'll go to Europe? something like two point two billion or something like that. You know. Oh, yeah. even better. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, no, well, I get you know I'm I'm yeah that last one five out of six one in Morgan Hill, which is right up the road from us. Like huh? two cities, three cities. And up. how much did they win? A couple mil. Uh, it was a couple. Yeah, a couple few million, I guess. Yeah. Oh, is that all? That's all. Wow, that's terrible. But it was nice. They showed uh, this morning on, I think it was on Today Show or something. They showed feel good stories about people that won the lottery, and not the ones that were disasters. They showed a couple of people that you know had started foundations and and this one couple that were in a small town they they started a local foundation and they bought a grocery store and built it for the town that was you know a small town that didn't have a grocery store and they built this nice grocery store it was there were good stories it was pretty cool yeah i think i'd do something nice for people like uh yeah take them out to lunch yeah for <laughs> one day yeah for but one they'd have day. to leave the tip <laughs> well, I go up to the cur the food bank up the corner, yeah, where all these people are lined up and say the food's on me. Yeah, <laughs> fresh Why, bananas you, for everybody. Did you, did you spill some? What? <laughs> did you spill some of it? Yeah, right. Yeah, but uh, no, I I I don't know. I if I won a lot of money, I suppose I would do something nice with it. Some of it, you know, a little bit of it, not all of it. M you know, uh, uh, there was a story this morning about a kid that saved uh, saved somebody or something, and uh, a young black kid, and he ended up uh, uh, starting a foundation to help people. Uh, I don't remember if he ran in and got somebody out of a burning building or some, something like that. Uh, did you hear that story this morning where he got honored for? Uh, no. For doing additional good deeds. No, I, guess. I, I I don't watch those feel good stories on the news. They piss me off. He's uh, a Republican. They, he has to no, watch. They, them. they do piss me off because I I watch uh, Lester Holt every night, and sorry Jeff, and, and at least uh, eight minutes of stories on that news are totally useless. You know, where they could be spending more time saying, "Hey, something just went on in uh, in another part of the world that's in." Uh, that's an interesting story or affects, will come back to affect your life. They don't do any of that. Instead, they run the, oh, here's our feel-good story at the end of the news. You're making America, uh, what, what is it? Uh, they're, uh, Great again? No, <laughs> no. By the way, I was, watching, uh, I was watching a documentary on Roger Stone, which is really rather good. And uh, they, he was with Reagan uh, at a certain point in his career. And you see Reagan giving speeches, and at the end of every one is, make America great again. I mean, Trump can't even come up with his own slogan. Right. <clears throat> How do you well, like a Hitler it's slogan? It's yeah. not a copyright. Oh, well, did you oh, hear it? He's, he's a nationalist. Did you, did you, yeah, so, now yeah. he's a nationalist. Did you hear that? That's a Hitler yeah. slogan. That's so what, Alex. It, it was, was the that? Nationalist Socialist Party was what Nazi was. Yeah, he dropped the Socialist Party. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say, Kevin? So was that uh, Roger Stone? Was that the continuation of the Trump series? No, no. The Ro- it's called Get Me Roger Stone. I've okay, seen was- that, that, that one Trump series that I watched that you suggested kind of ended with there was going to be something on the Roger on the Roger Stone thing. Yeah, well, I, I, was, that was- I was supposed to see him at the Commonwealth Club and uh, and get the book. The signed book, and then uh, uh, they canceled it because I guess all of a sudden uh, he he was uh, looking at getting indicted and he was being questioned, and so uh, they canceled yeah. his appearance at Commonwealth Club. Yeah, well, Roger Stone, uh, the documentary I saw it before, and the girlfriend has never seen it, so I, I I put it on for her to watch, and it's called Get Me Roger Stone, and it's all about him. I mean, he's he's a terrible person who. You kind of like in a strange way. He's very strange just in the way he dresses and the way he presents himself. Yeah. You like or you feel sorry for him? I don't feel sorry for him. Well, I was going to pay $55 to see him. and get sorry the book. for you. <laughs> and get the book. And get the book. Yeah. Well, yeah. Did they cancel his uh, his thing at, at the Commonwealth Club? or? Uh, they said he did, but uh, I'm not uh, sure that that's... I, you know, they've always had controversial people there. Uh, I don't think they'd cancel it. I think uh, he did. Right, right. Because um, it's, uh, it's a, a kind of... Kind of uh, uh, but it's an interesting documentary, and the guy is fascinating, and there's something... Something I don't know. I can't say likable, but there's something intriguing about him. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, he's such a horrible person, such an un, unapologetically horrible person that you almost admire that. <laughs> you know. Well, what's he got to apologize for? Uh, he he admits to having done some horrible shit. You know, yeah. but he doesn't care. Like he yeah. was, uh, he was dealing. He, his company, which was Manafort Stone, and I can't remember. And Black, I think, was the name of it. Uh, was Manafort part of his team? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, they uh, uh, they were known as the um, Dictators Club. What they did is they represented a lot of dictators around the world. And then they would use what they, the power they had in having entrees to the government here, the president, uh, to help these dictators out. Kind of like the Clinton Foundation. No, 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 no. Not kind of like the Clinton Foundation. Phil, shame on you. Just shame <laughs> it's, on you. It's true. By the way, here's Tony. And I, hey, have, Tony. Some, I have something Hello. I want to talk to Tony about, you know. We look at Tony as kind of the special child, you know. Little, we, we wonder if he's retarded we or not. You know, not. We, we can't figure out. You know. And, and we don't I found, use that I found word out, anymore. I found out something so telling about him today from my friend Shecky that I must, uh, and, and I will only say as much as I can without revealing everything. But as you know, Tony buys and sells comic books. Oh, I have a lot. In uh, grades. And there is yeah. a particular I'm a dealer. A, a dealer. There's a particular comic book that just went for, uh, well, it's the what the first issue of Spawn. Well, actually, wait, wait a minute. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish what I'm oh, about sorry, to say I'm here. Uh, it it made uh, it it got sold for two thousand dollars. Am I correct about that? Well, there's a person in California who I put it up in my store who who's messaging me offline. He, he's negotiating with me. I'll take twelve hundred. No, wait a minute. But, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two, Let's go back. I want to go back to the original. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Tony, Tony, Tony. He I'm does on. now. He does now. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Tony, uh, 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 the fact was that that particular issue of Spawn went for two thousand at some kind of auction or someplace like eBay. Well, I've been right? tracking them, so they have been going for a lot. One went for I two. Am I right? One, one of them went for two. One of them went for about salmon. Wait a minute. Let me talk here. Yeah, it went for about two thousand yeah. dollars, didn't it? Well, I actually have it up in my store for two no, no, grand. No, yeah. But he keeps. He wants me to pull it down. We're trying to negotiate offline where he just PayPal's me the money. And I'll be very honest. I have. I bought. What well, wait a minute. Is, well, hold on a second. Don't yeah, don't blow this story no. yet. 
Don't tell us. Let Alex finish. Supposedly, oh, sorry, yeah. what the story I got from Shecky was, you told him that it got sold and somebody bought it for two thousand dollars. Bought well, one for two thousand. He wants to buy it for me. I no, I'm not talking 000. about that one, Tony. That somebody I'm else. Oh, somebody I'm... else bought one for two thousand dollars. Yeah, that about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. About. Tell them how many copies of this particular oh, okay. comic book I'll you have. I'll tell you what happened, Alex. Back <laughs> in the early 90s, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Image Comics is like a new label. And the big artists from Marvel, like Todd McFarlane and Jim Lee, mm -hmm. they wanted to leave Marvel because they were smart. They wanted to create their own characters, but they couldn't retain the rights if they would have re released it under Marvel. They would own those right. rights, right. per se. Right. So what they did is, Todd McFarlane, who I'm a big fan of his, even though he's a so-so writer, but phenomenal artist, he created a character called Spawn. He didn't want to release it under the Marvel banner, from what I heard. So he said, hey, I want to start my own comic label. So he brought a couple of other big artists in, yeah. and they created Image Comics. And then he really spawned one, and he retains all the rights to it. So now they're going to make a movie on it. I think Jamie Foxx is playing Well, they already Spawn. made a movie out of Spawn. They made oh, one they make another one now. Jamie yeah. Foxx yeah. is getting it. Yeah, but so anyway, much, anyway. Cut to the chase. Was, I told him, I knew a dealer out in Canada who was a wholesaler. So you know what I told my brother? I says, I'm going to buy 100 copies of Spawn 1 and Wildcat. Now, how much did you buy? Titles. How much did you buy Spawn 1? I must one? have paid, I think I told Shep, I had to buy my own book. It had to be about 90 cents a book. Okay. Alex, I can go downstairs. I still have so them wrapped up. Now, wait a minute. And you have them You have them in basically mint condition. Oh, yeah. And you, have, and you have 100 of them, right? 100. I have 25 graded already. I must have had McFarland sign autograph CGC signatures. I have at least 10 of his signs. I can get at least 400 miles a pop. Oh, so well, just, come on. Uh, if it's signed, it should be two grand. Well, actually, Todd's signature is going for like four, but I have so many. Yeah, but this is also this is the this is the first. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the first issue of Spawn. It's the right? first issue, but then I actually bought after that. I bought the first twenty issues, but not in a hundred. There, copies. that bastard is. Oh, you can't. I see it. Like but the first yeah, yeah. one you bought a hundred issues. I bought a hundred yeah. copies. So you have a hundred yeah. copies of the first issue of Todd McFarlane's Spawn. Yes. Which went somewhere else for about $2,000. Yeah, about that. Yeah. So yeah, conceivably, if you if you parcel these things out and don't sell them all at once because you're going to be lowering I, your I, I own... I on a lot of stuff like you would do. You're going to lower your own value on it. Sell. I, would leave, I would hold until later. Yeah, yeah. There's books that I don't want to sell now that I would just keep and I would sell them later on when I got older. So but these other ones, it's like... Oh my God! If I showed you these spawns, I'm laughing about it. I'm, I said I can look like. 60 so you, let's say let's yeah. say you sold them all for five hundred dollars, you could make oh, fifty thousand dollars, right? That's there. what I was thinking. I want to buy. You know what I did? I told Shecky this. I bought some. Uh, I bought a couple of shares of Google with some of my sales. So what am I going to do with this one? So I bought a couple of shares. I said I'm going to buy Google with my stupid spawn comics that I sold. You know when movies I come out. Shifted over some shares of Microsoft to my niece. Robert, hey, you know when movies oh, come nice. out that have these characters in it, it seems as it seems as though it raises it. Now uh, a friend of mine, a friend of mine gave me uh, three or four Hulk number ones. I have 181. Shecky has that. And, uh, and and they, you know, they weren't, some of them, the cover, the staples had detached. Well, that's uh, restored. If they start removing staples, that's a restored comic. No, right? no, it didn't, yeah. they didn't remove it. The cover detached. Yeah, that's the staples oh, the cover, there. Sometimes they actually take the staples off, clean them, and then restate. I know right. you can really, like, restore them. I sold one of them for them on eBay for 700 bucks. Uh, yeah. I know that they, yeah. Huh? Yeah. I, if you're going to buy an eBay, you really have to buy a graded comic because you want someone to do a restoration check. These weren't graded. And uh, yeah, buy a so, uh, for him. And, uh, you know, it, but uh, yeah. some of the, the color of the so tape would be. Huh? And actually, Alex, McFarlane's a phenomenal writer. He's a terrible writer, though. He's a great drawer, but his stories stink. One time I was out of line, he said, what you think of my comic? I go, I, I love the artwork, but I don't really know where the story is going. He gave me like a dirty look, like, really? You're like a nobody. I said, I know, but you wanted my opinion. <laughs> what kind of story? my comic is I'm going to sell it. <laughs> it's Christ, Tony. What oh, kind wait, of stories wait, wait, wait. can you have in a comic book? Well, I have my own little stories in my head, I'm telling you. No, I no, there, there's some good stories. Really yes, Jeff had his hand up. Jeff? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Tony, do you go to that uh, big show in New York that was yeah, like actually, a couple of weeks I ago? I go to the New York Con because it's too, it's too much. I actually used to like going to the smaller shows because then you could actually talk to the writers and the artists a little more because it's more personal. The mm-hmm. big shows, there's just so many people. It's too much going on. You can't even really get to anybody. Mm-hmm. Like at the well, at the smaller show I went to, I actually got to meet one of my like, heroes, Nick Carty, who passed away. Him and his, he was, he's like a Silver Age artist. And he was so nice to me. It's like you could sit there. Nobody was even bothering him. I was asking about how he came up with different story ideas. And he was really nice. Even though I was getting autographs, I actually enjoyed talking to him. Because he was like, wow, he's really laid back. You can actually approach the guy. But did some he them, enjoy talking to you? Alex, some of them were like real major assholes. Well, I can hardly wait till Phil gets his old microphone my, back. Because that thing nephew, is so Alex, I met Neil Adams. He's a prick. I met Neil Adams years and years and years ago. I when, never got when, to meet Stanley. That's the only thing I wish when, I would have met Stanley. When I hosted the uh, the uh, comic uh, award Stan, show for and Stan, he's a Stan, prick. Stan I'm asked not a me prick. to do he's it. He's cold. He was a kid at the time. I I never got to meet my hero Jack Kirby or Stanley. I yeah. was too. Small I don't know about. if I met Jack Kirby or not, but I, I know would love to meet Jack Kirby. I, knew, I, went nuts I knew Stan. You know. oh, but Stan. all I'm saying is that for yes. all we, uh, we we feel sorry for you about your mental capabilities, uh, yes, apparently you ain't too stupid. No, I'm kind of goofy. <laughs> right? I live in my own little world. Oh, right now. But no, but I mean, I enjoy it. Though. I'll be honest about it. I really enjoy the comics. Where do you though. keep like, all the comic the books? Or... Where do you keep the comic books? They're in the basement. I have the whole oh, God, it's comics all over the place. How do we I get into there. the basement? Oh, oh, excuse me, I didn't want to. What? Yeah. Are you trying to tell everybody how to break into his house and sell no, see, all of his gold? Nobody really knows, other than Shaggy and, like, my shit. Nobody knows that I sell comics. I have well, they do now. Know. We they do now. Do now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, this nobody is, knows. This that. is a big deal that you, know, you said this out loud. It don't hurt my feelings, but what you were about to say is nobody listens to this. I'm actually working on insurance right now because I'm trying to figure out in a spreadsheet how much I have, so. Or a roundabout. They want me to put everything in like a spreadsheet. Yep. So that's what I'm working on with Allstate. How much do you think it's worth? Oh God! I, to tell you the truth, it's kind of way over a hundred. Easy. Because I'm not even dealing with multiples. I bought these books; they were nothing. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, I have key books. Well, like you got some. You, there, there's some. I a fifteen two hundred dollar book two grand. Yeah. I bought it for seventy five dollars in bar sales. Well, for crazy guy, he was nuts. Yeah. He told me he knew the Ramones, which I think he did. I went to his apartment to look at his Silver Age books. He lived by the Midway. My toys is gone. You him up because he knew I was going to buy books. It's all right. He had a whole, he had a big apartment, totally off the wall, all the Ramones stuff on the wall. He says, here, take a look at these books. He had books, Spider-Man 14. He had everything. So I was like, all right, Mike. I'm, so we were trying to negotiate a deal, and I was actually working for him at the time. Uh, by by so the way, the I'm, books I'm, I'm wanted, complete, so I was trying to broker uh, 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 I got actually my okay. X-Men 94 for him. All right, so all right. Like, calm yeah, down, Tony. Calm down. Come I get excited. But Alex, I'm like, I'm here with a cycle. Calm person. down. Like, I wanted anything. to say one other thing. Your teeth yeah. look like they're straight now. Who, me? Your teeth. They look straight. I haven't been three and a half years. I still got to wear them. Yeah, the yes, are pretty I far still, gone. Yes. I, I still wear my retainer. So. Hey, no, but, Tony. No, five no, years ago. No problem. You just five got, years ago. Wearing them yeah. I kind of like it there. Yeah, five years ago, you were pretty far gone. Uh, this Remember, is a big like job. Remember yeah. Jabby, the cartoon guy who used to walk on the fence? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, Renee. I get my so, ginger ale. Jeff, your <laughs> nephew has a what? My nephew, Sean Crystal, is one of these cartoon guys. Oh. And, and of course, Tony's gone. Yeah, now that Tony's gone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we know nothing about it. <laughs> yeah, now we have to wait for this back yet. Yeah, our source has been lost. <laughs> anyway, he, yeah. he does a lot of Marvel stuff, yeah. but I think he does other things too. I have never read a That's comic. his job. That's by his by the way, speaking of comic books, there is, there is a great new, there's a great new show on. There's a thing called the DC Network or DC Oh, App. I got it. Yeah. Have you, like have, you Titan, oh, have you watched Titan? Have you have you watched Titans? I watched the first one. I didn't see the next two yet. It's great. There are only there's only one other. There are two. Okay. Right now. It's 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 pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm excited. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I like I like Nightwing. I mean, Robert God, Kicker, so I should go. Boston just hit a three-run home run. Oh, yeah, I, I hate those. I want to see. The Dodgers can't do nothing. Kershaw was going to kill. It's eight to four. I'm sorry. Man, okay, fine, let's get man. back to Jeff. Hey, Tony, Jeff has somebody. Yes. Do, oh, do you know Sean Crystal? No. Who's uh, an artist? Sean Crystal? I don't know yeah. that. He does a lot of stuff for, for Marvel. Oh, really? I, have to, I would Google maybe. I may know yeah, who he is. It's my nephew. Really? He's a very good artist. Oh, wow. And he's, like you say, a real weird character. <laughs> well, no, not, they're not all well, like that. But like, some get of along with him. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I met the, I was telling Chuck, uh, I met the Archie artist. He was really cool. He signed some books for me. Dan Parent. He was really laid back. Mm-hmm. Hey, that Veronica was hot. <laughs> you know I made a send to Archie meets Batman, 66. So I've got him coming back. I'll show him when they come. <laughs> Yeah. Then, you know, he charged me five dollars for a signature. I felt bad. I had to give him something. Okay. Come on. So anyway, Scott, Scott, are you there? Yeah. I just wanted to see if yeah, you're there. Here. Anything you want to say tonight? Well, the, the reason I'm calling in on the uh, phone is because we officially moved the refrigerator over to our new house, so I don't have internet yet. So I'm. Oh, congratulations! Well, I guess, and. Uh, <laughs> But maybe the internet's coming in tomorrow, and and uh, we'll see what happens. You tomorrow. moved you moved the refrigerator over to the new house, so that was the reason you got out of there. Oh wow! Hey, now Wait, Scott, hold on a second. Hold on a second, <laughs> Phil. I'm yeah. trying to ask Scott some questions, right. and it's it, it difficult here with him on being on the phone. So right. so why why did you why do you have to follow the refrigerator? Is that <laughs> what this is all about? <laughs> Where the beer is. Food. Exactly. No, <laughs> I say okay. I was wondering. Right. Now, yeah. Scott, is is your old house in escrow or sold or anything like that? No, we're still uh, we're still working on fixing it up and everything. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a job for me now to get it all prepared. Yeah. Now, my uh, my girlfriend's br- uh, sister and brother in law live in Frisco, and they and they have a, a beautiful home. And they want to sell it, and you in, know, it could in be on where? the market six it, months a year. Wait a minute. It's very difficult. In, in to sell. Where, where do they live? Yeah, but that's Fr- Frisco, Texas. Oh, Frisco, Texas. Oh, okay. oh isn't that? He he lives near Plano. Oh, is, oh they're not close. They're near yeah. Dallas. Oh, all the cities in Texas are really close to each other because the state is so oh, small. Dallas is the city of some states that, or what do they call it? The Dallas Metroplex. Yeah. It's a yeah. huge, huge. Oh, you huge. want to, you want to know what's Fucking larger? Is the Houston, boy. Houston yeah. Metroplex? Is Houston really? Uh, to show you how big Houston has gotten, when I lived there, they put in a, an airport. I think it was Hobby Airport or something, and uh, they put it in in Houston, and it was seventy-five miles from the center of town, and now it's in it's on the it's just right on the edge of town. Yeah. Okay, that's how big Houston has gotten. Wow. So. Uh, Frisco's, uh, that's a big and up and booming town now. Yeah, well, I think they're going to be on the market for a while, uh, at, like uh, many houses there. Yeah, Where do you see, see what's it, Phil? Uh, Arizona. Uh, no state tax? What about Arizona? Where, what, uh, that's that's where uh, Faye's sister and oh, so they are family, brother-in-law. They're, they're uh, going to move from move. Texas to Arizona. That's what they said. Wow. Uh, I think it's an economic thing. He's what not, they were looking uh, for some place a little hotter. Uh, well, it, yeah, it, but I think it has to do with the cost of living. Uh, right. Yeah, it's cheap. It's cheaper in Arizona. I don't know exactly where they want to go. I don't know but. why anybody would live in any of those states: New Mexico, <laughs> Arizona, <laughs> Nevada. Yeah, it's very hot out there, right? I mean, Nevada, should, you know, Arizona it gets like 120 degrees. I know. Now, it, used to, it used to only get that way like once a year, maybe twice a year. And now it's over that often, more often than it's scary how much that's changed so quickly. Yeah, there's only like two or three, two months maybe that it's normal. 
Nevada, yeah. Nevada doesn't scary. get Nevada doesn't get as hot as the others, but it can it can get uh, toasty. Yeah. Huh? It's pretty hot in Nevada, especially Las Vegas. No, the problem with Nevada I mean, is there's a lot of nothing. Yeah, you're right. It's just so sad. Yeah. Well, it's a lot like Utah. It's different. It's different. Yeah. You know, I've only been in one state uh, that I never went to. Excuse me? Yeah. Try to guess the one state that I've what? never been to. That you never, you never went to Vegas? Uh, New Jersey. No, no, no. I'm going you know, to say you've never Vegas? been. Uh, you've never, uh, I'm going to say you've never been to Nevada. Idaho. Montana. Nope. Wyoming. He's going to say Rhode nope. Island. Nah, he's too close to Rhode Island. Yeah. Scott, got anything? Yeah. Pick a state. Oh, I, I was I, I didn't hear. I'm chasing the dog around. He's all confused. He doesn't. Really <laughs> yeah, there's one state he's never visited in the in the, in the United States. Ooh. And I'll give you a hint. It's cold. Ooh, Alaska. Alaska. No. Oh, Nebraska. Uh, Wisconsin. North Dakota. Well, you got it. Yeah. North Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have friends that Is were that? in the military Is and it? were were stationed in Minot, North Dakota, and the stories they told about how cold it gets there were scary. Oh yeah, that's, was, that's scary cold. <laughs> here's no, it's the state <laughs> that uh, here's what I don't get. I do like uh, here's what I don't get. Mm. Why? There's North Dakota and South Dakota. When if you combine the two populations, they don't amount to like the Rhode beast. Island, you know? So why don't they just combine them, call them Dakota, and leave it at that? You know? And then they'd lose two senators. That's okay by me. Why I'm should, sure he, it is. Why should they? Well, oh, here's the inequality of it all. Why should any state have two senators? Why not? Why not? Because some states, it, there are two senators for all of California, the millions upon millions upon millions of people who live in California, and then there, uh, th then there are two uh, senators for, say, North Dakota, where there are a couple of hundred thousand people. That's hardly think equal. About that's over 200 years ago. Yeah. When it was only 13 states. Yeah. Then it made sense. And they had to figure out how to do it. Right. This. That's why we need a whole new constitution. You know, all that. I think you're right. Uh, you don't know. Porous borders. Yeah, sure. What do you mean porous borders? What porous borders? Well, you don't want this constitution. You, you don't want the electoral college. You, you want the uh, uh, illegal aliens flooding into the country oh, so I they can that. vote. I'm an you know, well, they got room in North Dakota. Ship them all up there, right? Yeah, that's where they should put the space. prisons. They should put the prisons there. You know. Uh, yeah, I'm and, with that. How yeah. right can that hold bill. the whole state and fill it all up with prisons? Good, I'm good. Well, those for, guys vote. <laughs> so, are you a nationalist, Phil? Well, if Trump is, if a, Trump is a nationalist, I I am for America first. Well, yes, oh, you're for America first, but that isn't necessarily being a nationalist. Well, that's what I believe he means by it. Well, now, uh, uh, well, but what did Hitler mean by it? Uh, I don't think that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, was, come on. What did Hitler, Hitler mean by it? Hitler was a nationalist. I think, yeah, but uh, Hitler wanted to kill Jews. No, no, that no, no, no. Plan. Who doesn't want to Wasn't kill it? Jews? Come on. Make Nazi Be, be reasonable. Things. Everybody wants to kill Jews. That's true. Yeah. That's true. No, yeah. I don't. I'd rather. You know why they want to kill Jews? Because they met you. That's the reason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I figure, I figure, my, it's my theory that if Hitler had met up with you during World War II, he would have killed you and been happy to stop there with killing well, Jews. I, I was talking he would have felt, he would have felt today. completely satisfied with killing a Jew. Imagine that. Kill himself on the run. Wait. Where the hell did you come out? Tim, <laughs> by the way, we've been joined by Tim. Hello, Tim. Should have took, took it for oh. Wait, Yes, Tim. Tim? Uh, I, think, I think everybody's overthinking this white power proclamation from Trump today. Yeah. The white nationalist. I, it, it, uh, it's, he doesn't understand a lot of words. <laughs> I don't think he knows the difference between a naturalist and a nationalist. But but here's, here's what he did do. He is a nationalist. 
The only reason he's a nationalist is because Obama isn't. Very simple. Uh, no, I think he's his, he hates Obama. I think his meaning of nationalist was different than many people interpreted it. Oh, well, uh, there's only one uh, way to it? interpret nationalist, Phil. Well, uh, but uh, let me let me be clear though that Trump does think it is his ability to change the English language. So go right ahead, Phil. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I I uh, and I forgot uh, what I was going to say. Why don't Tim you say Thank something? God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Are you kidding? Drink up. Oh, I remember what it was. I was talking to a by guy. The, by the Sunday. way, your 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 microphone is awfully loud. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I can turn it down somehow. Yeah. yeah. He validate the guys throwing hundred mile an hour pitches three and four times in a row. It's amazing to see that kind of strength. Mm. Oh, that was four. ninety. He slowed down to 90 so the guy could hit it. It's getting there towards were the nine, it was, There were 99, there were 101, and 99. Who's winning? The and Red so who's winning? Down. The Red Sox? Steroids. Yeah. Well, any description of that ball game <laughs> without the written com uh, permission of the commissioner is uh, extremely prohibited. So, Is this better, Alex? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I was talking to a guy on Sunday uh, about why so many Jews are liberal. And... Uh, and, and because they're highly educated and not and not selfish. No, no, well, Phil, Phil isn't so you know. It's, he he said it's because the Jews were oppressed people and they saw the blacks as oppressed people and they uh, wanted to they support. Are? And, well, no, and he said that what they wanted to do was use the blacks as a buffer because maybe if people went after the blacks, they wouldn't go after the Jews. <laughs> so, I, I, think that's, I think that's a line of bull. Well, so I, now you're, <laughs> you're painting all the Whose Jewish theory people? was that, Phil? Hey, 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 Phil, don't come on this show and try to divide us. We don't need more division. <laughs> that's okay. You do a really good job, you, Tim. You know, you know why the Jews, the Jews do that? Is because the same reason that McCain was against the use of torture. Right. That's, That's what why. this guy was saying, that the Jews were oppressed people. They viewed the blacks as oppressed people. So, therefore, uh, they were very supportive. But, uh, but do you think that... 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 Do you think Yeah, do you think that that's the excuse now? Because the, the, the point is that in, in this day and age, there are so many Jews that are separated from the Holocaust at this point, yeah. that they're not coming up with that theory about, well, we were oppressed, so therefore we want to help other people who were oppressed. Uh, I think that maybe... Uh, That's never been my reason. It's, it's never been my reason for being liberal. My reason for being liberal is, is that I the causes that I believe in and the things that I believe in are liberal causes. And... Uh, I believe in them because I believe in uh, I believe in uh, uh, people being nice to other people, you know, and doing right by other people. Well, so do I. No, you, you don't. Know. No, you don't. You voted for that creep Trump. He's a racist. He's a he's a misogynist. Yeah, putting, oh yeah, because he's put more people to work. He's put the blacks uh, in, in uh, lowest uh, unemployment. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Hey, you can't trust his numbers. Yeah, yeah. and those the stock. And by the way, the stock the that. stock market's doing really good. Hey, there's got to be corrections for people to make money. Oh, corrections? That what somebody you call has it? To lose Is that what you call it? He, he's been saying how wonderful it was under him, and now it's all of a sudden it's going south. Yeah, Why exactly if, does somebody have to so, lose and somebody have to win? What, what what, if we're doing so good, Phil, why do they have to take away health care from people with pre-existing conditions? Well, or Medicare, I heard or Trump Social last Security. night say that he wasn't going to do that. And they have also, a lawsuit. They also have regulations pending letting the states take it away. They're going to let the states do it. They're going to give them permission under uh, ACA to take yep. away that pre-existing, or they're for, they're for insurance for pre-existing, but they're not going to be any limits I, on the premiums. So, I, you, you can't, uh, you don't listen to a thing the man says. You you, you hear one thing, and, no, you, and no, it comes I don't, out of your I, mouth. It doesn't do any good to listen to what he says. 
you need to listen to watch what they do. And the 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 the, 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 the former director of the Medicaid Medicare Bureau says they're going out. They're changing the regs so the states can gut the Trump, pre-existing Trump, conditions. Trump is protecting Medicare and Social Security. No, he's not. not the liberals to rape it. And uh, Phil, and to, Phil, and Phil, and Phil, Phil, you're talking about you rape the trade fund. What are you talking about? You're talking out of your ass, Phil. You're talking out of your ass, Phil. In fact, the Republicans have said, How are we going to pay for the tax cut? Well, we're going to have to cut some of the entitlement programs. Yeah, McConnell's already said that's their plan, and that's Ryan's plan all along. McConnell just said that. And by the way, you want to hear another piece of bullshit, Phil, that, that, that Trump is doing prior to the election? He said, before the election, uh, I'm probably going to ask for a middle class tax cut. And he the, just did. No, he, and, can, he can't do anything about well, it because can, Congress he, isn't even in session till after the election. You, you know, he thinks he's a godfather and he's trying to bribe the voters by saying, dangling a $10 tax cut. And then he's also using blackmail because if they don't no. vote the Republicans, and they're going to gut Medicare and Social Security. Your, your Social Security scare has been going on since 1944, uh, uh, with oh, the, yeah. them claiming that the Republicans are going to take away your Social Security. Yeah. They, you know, and, they, uh, and they have been. They taxed it. The first thing they did was tax it. Seventy years, nobody did anything. Who taxed it? Was it Bush? No, I think it was before Bush. It might have been Nixon. Or, it was probably Reagan. I think it was Reagan, but Nixon raided the trust funds and put it in the general fund and, and spent all the money. They let the Treasury use all the money up from the trust funds, and that was Nixon. Well, you know, you're crying. It used, to be, a, it used to be earmarked a separate fund, and they put it in the unified budget, and it's been raided to pay all the other so, bills that the Republicans so had to finance. Democrat Clinton couldn't have changed that? No, he just kept feeding it the trough. You know, no. so after Nixon, you had uh, well, Clinton had to get us get the economy moving. Obama had to dig out from underneath Bush. We all we do is play cleanup after the Republicans. The, the, the Republicans Spend always like leave us in political <laughs> shambles. Phil, 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 Phil. The Republicans always leave us in political shambles, and then the Democrats are stupid enough to want to win the election, and they get blamed <laughs> for having to somehow bail everybody out, and, and it costs money to do that. That's the, that's the price of uh, power, I guess. You know what? The, you know the the Democrats want power, and that's all they want, and they're all and they're that's willing all to we offer, want. Oh, and what uh, and what 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 do, what do the uh, what do the Republicans want? They want they want the power so they can do such good for the people. Oh, they come want on! Personal freedoms preserved. Look, name personal one freedom. Democrat. That, name one what Democrat that is violently violently. Uh, used uh, violated the emoluments clause and did everything for personal gain. Uh, Name one Democrat uh, that did that. Who, who was the uh, who was the uh, 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 the guy that your street is named after? Not Adam Clayton Powell. The guy who took over for him. Uh, I live. I used to live on Eisenhower Avenue. Yeah, in uh, Paris. In the bridge the Are you talking about uh, what's his name? Um, a black, a black guy, yeah. uh, he was renting apartments. Yeah, but he rent. wasn't president of the fucking United States. We're talking hey, he about... He asked me one guy. The emolument... Uh, uh, right, correct me if I'm he wrong. Asked me one wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He wait a minute. didn't ask for president. Wait a minute, hold on a second. No, he said the okay, emolument well, I, clause... I doesn't the, I'm asking for a president. Tim, doesn't the emolument clause uh, 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 apply to the president? Absolutely. Yeah, that is, that's specifically for the president. It's specifically for the president. conflicts of interest. We're talking about emoluments. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, it's probably... You no, know, you can't uh, name one. Well, I, I, when did the emoluments clause uh, become uh, par, uh, legal? Uh, part of the oh, wow. Part of the law. Because Jared Kushner was just seeking funds from Saudi Arabians for his private business. No, 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 I asked you. It was you, a week or two before the, Khashoggi died. Was the emolument clause uh, part of the Constitution? or No, it's not it part of the Constitution, I don't think. Constitution, I believe. But is it really? Yes, it is. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah the, our founding fathers put it in there. Okay. And basically so, explain to Phil what it is. You, you can't, can't well, first of all, you can't accept any... Um, you can't accept uh, anything of value from foreign foreign uh, governments, or for actually any foreign entities. So foreign 
foreign citizens yeah, well, as well it, can't it, it, donate it, to your campaign. It, or anything isn't like that. isn't Trump violating that right off the bat with renting yeah, renting rooms to him at his hotel in Washington? It, it's the corporation. Corporations are people too. No, but who owns but the corporation? He didn't separate himself from the corporation. He didn't. He didn't. He doesn't have to. Yes, he does. Yes, he he should. So stop saying this shit. Every Democrat, every liberal needs to understand one thing. If it isn't a law, the Republicans are not going to stand by it. If it's just something we had a gentleman's agreement about for 200 years, it's still not a law and they're not going to and they're going to just plow it under. We haven't had a president with his kind of money. Uh, since maybe Jack uh, Kennedy, and Jack Kennedy didn't make the money like Trump did. He he inherited it. And it was easy. Like, Trump didn't like Trump make the money did. either. His father yeah, did. His Trump father did. His father did. His father did. What? He's got three. Maybe th- it's estimated he's, maybe it's three maybe billion dollars. Unless Alex buys the winning ticket and and oh yeah, he, if you don't you hit lotto, we could be just worth as much as Trump. Yeah. 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 It's like 1.8. Almost. And, like and a, it could well be that Donald Trump, see, we have no idea what his finances are, at what his finances are, because he won't reveal his taxes. His taxes. And, or, 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 women, or, or his finances. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. And because he won't, we have no idea what he's worth. I would say he's not even worth a billion. At the, you know. Well, if the Democrats take over Congress, I think they can uh, they can get his tax returns. I'd like to see his tax returns. Uh, yeah, I would too. That would be one of the only reasons. I'd like but. to sell all my comic books. Imagine his check bounced. <laughs> the money's no good. <laughs> he beats me out of it. No, I mean, <laughs> I think to be very honest with you, Phil, I think that if he hadn't, uh, if he hadn't won the presidency, he would be bankrupt by now. You know, uh, and Melania yeah, would no, have been a I distant that memory. That his, uh, if he hadn't won, he probably would have been better off financially than than that he won. Uh, because uh, his, uh, he, you know, all of this stuff, this dirty uh, mud slinging, wouldn't have taken place, oh, and he uh, just would have had a lot oh, more. Oh, so call it, saying Ted Cruz's father killed Kennedy isn't mud slinging? Well, he did. Yeah, he's the he's the king of mud slinging. Yeah, well, uh, now uh, Ted Cruz is is uh, good. Ted Cruz or Texas Cruz? I, what's yeah. he calling him now? I, lying I, Ted, not lying Ted. He's got a new name. Yeah, he, he, he's oh. Texan Ted or something. Still lying like Texas Ted. Ted. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Texan. Oh, Ted. look at that sunset! Look at that! How mm-hmm. nice! How hey, how's... this uh, the the guy that's running for governor of Florida. Mm-hmm. It uh, turns out, you know, you talk about your monuments. It turns out he took free tickets to the uh, to the play Hamilton. And I guess they're investigating him uh, for that. And uh, so it's, it's th- not that's like not that's like not a violation of the votes. emoluments clause, Phil. That's not what the no. emolument clause is. I didn't say it was the emolument clause. I said talking about the Florida gubernatorial race, gubernatorial, whatever. The the guy uh, took. Uh, Three tickets to Hamilton, and I guess uh, they're going oh, off. Oh, my gosh, that's awful. That's horrible. Tarring oh, well, I'm not man. voting for that son of a bitch. Re- oh, I God, mean, what, what a that? crook. A what a that's, crook. And that, compared that's very... to a couple hundred thousand dollars that your boy Brett Kavanaugh blew. Hey, uh, that that's just another what about is a Renee. Uh, well, no. Actually, we have documentations that he was in de- he, that he ran through that money. So it's not a what is. Hey, I've run through much more than that, a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> so anybody? Yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah, I just find it uh, 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 amazing that uh, you would even think that that was a horrible thing. They got tickets to Hamilton. Well, I think just seeing the play Hamilton was a horrible thing, but. Yeah. What do you mean? Have you, have you seen it? Have, have you thing. seen it? No, I wouldn't see it. Not what, after what, what they did. Uh, oh, to what they did to them. Oh, yeah. It's still an award Why winning would you play. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Uh, they lectured him Hence. from the Hence. from the stage. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, no they, they were very they him. were very nice about it. They they felt they had to say something, but they did it in very nice terms. Yeah, yeah. but of course. Well, 
You're holding it against them. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. They've got a shitload of money from people who who actually show up. They don't need so your money, so Phil. They don't need your money, Phil. By the way, somebody left a bomb in George Soros's mailbox. Mm. Yeah, I hope they really? find that guy. That's serious. Mm -hmm. That would be an improvement. <laughs> Oh, really God. blowing someone up? How do you joke about that? <laughs> how, do you, well, how do you joke about it? Was it a uh, was it a Muslim bomber with one of those jackets that? Uh, I can uh, remember. A suicide bomb. No, Phil. It was a bomb in his mailbox. Oh, oh. I'm going to start drinking. Well, now. Maybe his mailman didn't <laughs> like him. I've got scared. some Maui beer in the refrigerator. Yeah, I think I'm yeah. going to go hey, for that. Drink one for me, too, will you? Hey, it's Maui okay. beer. Boy, that sunset's getting... Oh, it's not, shut up, Phil. That no. sunset's getting to they look good. That sunset's getting to look really good. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm standing here still. Yeah. You, you get a nice <laughs> painting out your window every night, don't you? Yeah, that's one of the reasons I bought this house. I don't have to it get out of nice. bed yeah. <laughs> to see a, a phenomenal view. Yeah, what it's a from nice, every window. What, what a nice view. Really nice. It doesn't, it doesn't look like Queens, I can tell you that. No, it doesn't look like Queens. <laughs> no, it's going through the office right now. What's that over to the left? Is that a 7 Eleven? <laughs> yeah, that palm tree is a set. There you go. That palm yeah. tree is the. Seven, the new seven element. Hey, Jeff, we lost a heart, do a famous heart doctor that lives on our island. Who was it? And I'll have to look up his name. I saved it for you, but I don't have it. For In you Hawaii? On iPad. Yeah, he lives on the big island, wow. which is my island. A very famous guy. What do you have? Everybody. What happened? He had a heart attack. Barnard. I think he's dead. What? No, he is. He was a, an older gentleman. I think is you know that's yeah. Kind of what did he die of? Heart attack. Oh, somebody turned How was the winters there? Is it cold? <laughs> this is winter. <laughs> no, Tony, man. There's <laughs> only one season. Uh, so, oh, really? it's you, no, it's we have two seasons. One is Tommy Bahama, and then Night Tommy Bahama. So that's oh, our. Wow. Yeah, it's, yeah it's we like the long sleeve. Yeah, so you uh, it, show you mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it, no, it's mm -hmm. it's way. Whoa, you, if I, that. I'm look, not going to tell you because you have to go through winter, and telling you at the beginning of winter is not a nice thing to if do. People, if people are just listening to us, man, you're missing something about not going mm. over to the video. It's a gorgeous sunset that we're. That so we're what is it? 80 degrees there? Oh no, it was hot today. It was uh, like 89 was the real feel, so it was a little yeah. too warm. Mm. And um, it's still October, so we think it's going. The nights have been good. We finally we're finally below seventy one yeah. yeah. at night, so it's good sleeping. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm I just put you up full screen there. Okay, but that's I'll what we can do for the end of the show. Is just see that beautiful sunset going down. So I can't make it full screen in this new Skype. Oh, really? One one. Well, no, yeah. because you're not getting it. Only the people are watching the video of the program. No, I understand, but on Skype, I can't make it full screen. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. I don't know why. Well, uh, uh, move, uh, move, uh, move uh, your camera so that the up a little right bit. Right or left? Uh, up. No, down, 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 down more, down more, down more. There we go. See, that way we get the... Uh, we get the palm trees and everything because I've got all the people along the bottom of the screen right now. Look oh, at that. Oh, there you go. Folks. Okay, I was wondering why you wanted so much bottom. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, why I wanted so much bottom? I'm not gay. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Again, a Brian reference. <laughs> so what side do you wear your handkerchief in? Yeah. Anyway, everybody, why don't you give a big, big wave goodbye to the audience out there as we say goodbye uh, to Hawaii. Look at that, folks. It's beautiful. Thanks, people. We'll see you hopefully tomorrow night. That's our citizens panel for tonight and a lovely closing shot of, uh, of uh, Hawaii. Oh, boy. That's really nice. I love it. 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 Anyway, uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, thanks to uh, uh, Phil and, uh, and Tony and uh, uh, Kevin and Phil and Renee. And uh, let's see, who else did we have here? I'm forgetting now. Uh, Jeff. Uh, who else? Uh, and we had, uh, we had Tim. So I think that's it. I think I got everybody. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Uh, but that's it. That's it for our, uh, our little uh, group tonight, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed yourself uh, there. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night, 
Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. He's followed very closely at uh, 1 o'clock this morning, Eastern Daylight Time, by, uh, the, by Connections. And then uh, uh, tomorrow uh, at uh, 8.30, we got our sports show, Franchise MC and the Arena. And that is followed by Damian Chaplin. He's at 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time. And then at 10, I'll be back again. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? Okay. <laughs>